Hello, my name is Benjamin Lack, and the title of my poster is Intracellular HPV E67 mRNA Quantification Predicts SIN 2 and 3 in Biopsies Better Than Pap Screening for Women Regardless of Age. Testing was performed at Hunter Laboratories, and my poster will be available for viewing at the end of my presentation. Cervical cancer is the second leading cause of female cancer death worldwide with over half a million new cases reported annually. The majority of cervical cancer appears in women between the ages of 30 and 50, but uh, a significant proportion of cervical cancer cases occurs in women between the ages of 20 to 34. HPV DNA has been detected in over 90% of cervical cancer cases studied, but HPV testing is not recommended for women under the age of 30. HPV DNA overpredicts SIN2 and above by approximately 28%, potentially leading to unnecessary hypotheses and biopsies. 70% of HPV infected women clear the infection, making HPV DNA a poor risk marker. HPV DNA has uh, been uh, grouped into high, medium, and low risk HPV populations, but even this has not allowed, uh, has not been significant for women in the less than 30 age group because their rate of infection clearance is even higher than the average. HPV DNA is indicative of an infection, but not of the infection's progression. So, uh, focus has been paid to HPV E67 mRNA testing, which, which are the oncogenes of uh, the HPV virus. However, due to the methodologies of HPV DNA and mRNA testing, which rely on lysing the cell and amplifying the target via uh, PCR, some related method, it is impossible to determine the cell of origin and also the concentration of copies per cell. Here you have the um, expression of E6 and E7 uh, correlated to, of, of each, of each uh, gene product correlated to uh, lesion severity, if you notice E6 is always present and E7 increases with lesion severity. So the combination of the two would be a good um, indicator for progression of the disease. However, if you'll notice here, the E67, this is radio labeled E67 transcripts, uh, that is present even in uh, non-severe lesions, and the concentration increases with lesion severity. This slide uh, demonstrates that uh, copies per cell is a good indicator of the difference between transformed cells and infected in HPV infected cells that are normal. So HPV DNA, HPV DNA presence would be in this cell pop in this uh, population of HPV infected cells as well as HPV E67 transcription. However, um, the number of mRNA copies per cell is greatly um, increased in transformed cells. So the HPV Oncotech uh, methodology hybridizes fluorescent probes to intracellular E67 mRNA transcripts and then runs them on the flow cytometer. These labeled cells, uh, fluorescently labeled cells, are then distinguished by forward and, light scatter, uh, forward and side light scatter signature and the appropriate uh, cell group is uh, interrogated for fluorescence. This peak of uh, uh, cellular events represents ectocervical cells that are autofluorescing at the normal level, and this peak represents uh, 
exocervical cells that are fluorescing at a level greater than the normal autofluorescence rate and therefore overpredicting E67 mRNA, over expressing, I meant to say. The, this is the uh, clinical data, uh, clinical performance data of the assay, and it is important to note that the less than 30 age group is statistically similar to the um, total population, and also that the sensitivity is uh, very good in the uh, mRNA quantification method, and the specificity is greatly increased, and therefore the positive predictive value is also increased. So that is my slide background and a little bit of uh, description of my our findings. And please do not hesitate to contact me with any questions. Um, my email is benlack at gmail.com. Thank you very much for your attention.